everyone i'm kelly d and you've been asking for it i've been getting so many requests saying i need to know how to make wraps so we're doing it today we're going to be making veggie wraps now my veggie wraps are usually so hearty and filling you can use them for breakfast or for lunch they must be healthy so they're always filled with starch protein and vegetables so let's go over the ingredients we have some whole wheat wraps now you can use the plain ones if you prefer but i'm going to use the whole wheat ones they're healthier and they add another level of flavor now i'm going to show you in another video how we can make the wraps but you can also get them from the frozen department your supermarket to get them ready done I always use protein in my wrap, so I'm gonna use today one veggie burger and I'll show you how to do that. If you don't want to use a veggie burger, you can use any other type of burger, but we must have protein in our wraps. And of course, we must include potato. Potato always makes it more filling. So I have two medium-sized potatoes, which I chopped, and a half of a small carrot, which I chopped, just to add another level of flavor. And our vegetables. We have some cucumber slices, some tomato slices, and then half of a small sweet pepper, chopped the green one, and half of a small sweet pepper, chopped the red one, and one clove of garlic. We have one small white onion chopped, and our spices, we always need to add our spices. We have a quarter teaspoon of curry, quarter teaspoon of paprika, quarter teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and a quarter teaspoon of salt we have oil for sauteing and this is a tip for you this always adds flavor to our wraps we have tomato sauce and barbecue sauce mixed first we're going to prepare our carrots and potatoes so we're going to saute them so we're going to add a bit of the oil allow it to get hot just once we can see the steam coming from the top is ready then we're going to add our potatoes and our carrots and allow them to saute mm -hmm. we're going to add our spices now to our potatoes as they continue to cook and this will take another five or so minutes then we'll go on to our veggie burger now it's been about five minutes so our potatoes are almost done so I'm, I'm going to add one teaspoon of uh, tomato sauce and barbecue sauce. This is going to add so much flavor. Now be careful at this point because you know you're going to start feeling all kind of fat coming from the stove. You need to be careful now. But this is going to add so much flavor to our potatoes. You must always dress for the part. You don't want to end it with a whole set of burns. So once it has stopped, we're going to go on to preparing our veggie burger. Now we're going to get ready for our veggie burger. We're going to use the same pan that we used previously because it already has the flavor already. So we're going to just add to it. So I would have taken the veggie burger and I would have chopped it up. Now we're going to just saute just like we did with the potatoes but to our veggie burger we're gonna add our onions our sweet pepper and our clove of garlic and we'll allow them to saute for another five or so minutes then we're gonna assemble our wrap <laughs> Now this is almost done and I wish you could smell it from there. This smells so good. Onion and sweet pepper always smell great when we're sauteing them. And once again, I'm going to add another spoonful of tomato sauce and barbecue sauce mixed. It always adds additional flavor. So once this is done, we're going to go ahead and prepare our wrap. We'll heat the wraps by flipping them every couple of seconds on the flat griddle pan of our stove until it gets a nice toasty color. 
Our wraps are almost done. We just need to assemble them though. So we would have just heated up the whole wheat. So we're gonna go back to my trusty mixture tomato sauce and barbecue sauce this i mean you absolutely have to try these two things together that is my tip for you these add so much flavor you can also use hummus i'm also going to show you how to make hummus in another video but you can use hummus to start now we're going to add our potatoes and our carrots we're just going to put a bit of it then i'm going to add everything else together and show you the final result Now this is the fun part, trying to get everything together into this wrap. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to wrap it. This smells so good. We're going to put everything in and fold. are now done now you can have them either open where you can just see a peep of the ingredients on the inside or you can have them closed I personally like to have mine closed so you get the surprise when you start to eat now it's time to taste it's nice and soft and you can just see all of the ingredients just peeping on the outside you can see some of the the, definitely the carrots, a bit of the potatoes and some of the onion and the sweet pepper. The veggie burger is somewhere inside there. It smells amazing. Now it's time to taste. Mmm. It's so tasty. This is perfect for breakfast or for lunch. Veggie wraps. No, you need to try it.